So uh, what we have seen in last few years that uh, the growth in demand, uh, both in terms of energy as well as peak, uh, has been growing at this pace of about 8 to 10 percent. Last year it was, uh, last financial year, it was 8 percent. But uh, last two months, uh, March and April, we've seen a nearly 10 percent growth. The peak demand also has grown as also the energy. And uh, uh, we do see the impact of climate change where the demand is uh, because of higher temperatures, the demand uh, keeps on increasing. So also the industrial activity and the commercial activity. So I think uh, we can expect that uh, at least for the next one decade, we'll have a huge uh, growth in power demand. Uh, we still have one of the lowest uh, per capita consumption, and I'm sure uh, the way the industrialization is taking place and new investments are happening in especially uh, new uh, areas and new technology areas, uh, we will definitely have much more power demand. Uh, to cater to that, uh, uh, to that demand, I think uh, renewable power will play a very, very important role. Uh, Tata Power is in the midst of uh, uh, the whole uh, renewable journey. Uh, it does uh, solar plants, wind plants, and now it's uh, doing 24-7 uh, uh, renewable power solutions with uh, battery storage and pumped hydro. So I think... Uh, uh, with the energy transition roadmap that Tata Power has set for itself, uh, you, it will play a very, very critical and important role in the way the power uh, sector transitions uh, to clean energy solutions. Indeed. We just, uh, Mr. Sinha, had data out from China where the import numbers showed for the month of April a growth of 8% year on year. We were talking about how part of it could be stockpiling. Uh, you know, our colleague uh, Samantha Varas, who covers uh, the region, highlighted the efforts towards green industrialization. I wonder where India is in that cycle. So India uh, till now has been importing many of these things, whether it was solar panels or uh, uh, any of the battery storage uh, solutions. Uh, we now have a, a lot of capacity that is coming up in the country. Tata Power itself has added a four gigawatt of solar modules and a four gigawatt of solar cell plant. The module plant is already fully operational and the cell plant will become operational from next month onwards. So also we will find that uh, large number of other industry in the, uh, industrial groups in the country are also setting up such similar plants. Also, uh, there is a huge plan to set up uh, battery storage plants in the country. Tata Group itself has the ambitious plan to, in the first phase, to put 20 gigawatt hour of battery manufacturing. And uh, what we will see is that over a period of time, many of these things which were imported will start getting manufactured in the country. And uh, to that extent, uh, I think uh, the import dependence uh, will reduce substantially. But of course, this will take uh, another 12 to 24 months.